while the players cool down after the game, why is it heats up my water? Uh, Richard, you're fast closing in on 50 appearances for this club now. Um, it's been quite a rise for you in recent years, but you seem to be very settled and, and very much part and parcel of the club moving forward. Are you excited about what's happening? Yeah, no, I mean, that's flew past. Um, I've just like just graduated uni, finished that, um, that flew past. I mean, I didn't feel like I really properly experienced uni with COVID as such. Uh, it's quite a short time at uni, but yeah, I can't like it has flown past. I, I I I don't even know how many games I'm on at the moment, but if it's near fifty, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? Um, considering the amount I've been through um, with university rugby, under twenties rugby, and then COVID and everything, it's it's flew by. Rob's talked about the young generation coming through and that, that you have to take your opportunities and we've certainly seen that over the last three, four weeks. You guys are all stepping up and you've got a point to prove but equally, you're the future of this club. Yeah. You've got to go out there. 100%, 100%. I think if you actually look at um, 1 to 15, we've got players that are coming through in every position like uh, from road or Kenny who's had an unbelievable season. You've got Jack Inard who's like pushing on starting almost every week now. Um, second row, you've got Daft Chrissy. Then back row, you've got Rusi. Um, nine, you've got Maunder. Uh, there's so many young lads, you've got Hodgie, you've got Walshy, all these lads that have been pressing, Dan John, Arthur Routman on the win, all these young lads that have, when they've had played, they've taken their opportunities. So um, I think it's in good stead, this club, and that's almost a whole 15 players that are all within a couple of age groups. Um, so it's really exciting, I think, where the club's heading. Cash your mind back to a couple of weeks ago, you were in a great position against Wolves and it goes right at the death, but that could have broken some teams yeah. and, and really hurt but you used that hurt it seemed yeah. to drive you into Gloucester last week and what a performance that was no it was heartbreaking um, I, I felt I, we did everything we could to win and I think um, it hurt at the time but I think like you can actually leave feeling satisfied that you gave everything and I mean you came up short but it's literally a bounce of the ball a dot and down of the ball a missed tackle just a decision either way and that's just the margin of that game um, against a very strong was side that has competed in Europe well and been in Premiership Finals and obviously you've used that now that Gloucester performance last week has to be the springboard now I guess for, for kicking on over these next few weeks 100% 100% um, it's so exciting like what these like our youngsters are like just full of energy going out there just getting the opportunity to play in the shirt um, Gloucester was a good result um, they're a very good side like everyone knows about their threat up front um, but you nullified uh, that yeah and yeah it, it went well and they, they probably their more was probably would have has always been talked about as the, probably the strongest part of their game um, and our um, more defence this year has was a little bit ropey at the start and it shows that with Wasps and um, Gloucester being able to stop that from um, just shows that the improvement we've made throughout the season and just learning from our mistakes Rob's talked this morning about the importance and there was a message he was going to say to you guys that you've got to get in that top four and then once you're in the top four then you can dictate what you want yeah. to do but it's getting it now into that top four that's the mission yeah 100% once you get in the top four it's two games isn't it if you just need to be there at the end of the season then anyone can win two games in a row if you have two good performances but you've won the title um, so it's about right now it's about winning improving each week keep picking up results um, and then at the season have a strong finish just win two games have put your two best performances together and you're, you're champions what are the threat in Newcastle what are you expecting they're a very organised side. Um, they know they know how to exit. They know they have a st like structured game plan. They'll be used to the conditions up there. I mean, I can't imagine having to train up there in the freezing cold every week. That'd be horrible. <laughs> uh, I'm much more of a fair weather player. Um, but yeah, they'll be they'll be organised and they'll be tough. They'll be physical. All our battles up there seem to be physical. Um, just look back last season when we we're playing in the wet cold. Um, you had Dave Yours, the Smashing Boys, um, you had the Anis. People just going crazy. Like, the physicality was massive, and that's what you get in those sort of conditions. And it's just like the organised kit chase and just being able to apply pressure and just minimise errors. Um, and then just trying to be able to dominate at the scrum, try and get some results there and set pieces, just hold up in the <laughs> wind if it, the ball can be thrown straight. You were quizzed about it a minute ago, but when you're in that background, that's probably the most competitive area of our squad. But the guys you're around you, you must be learning. And if, like you said, if I could pick something off them, I'd be yeah. one hell of a player. Yeah. And you seem to be doing that. 100%. Like, if you, if you pick a, a few attributes on all about right, you'd probably have the best player in the world. Um, like if you have the similar pace, ball carrying, you've got Dave's physicality and just grit and dirtiness. Like from five metres out, he can just drive boys over. And you've got Yanis, work rate and physicality, just tackling around the park. Uh, you've got Don's line-out ability. And then you've got Jacques, which is just a tall physical ball carrier. 
Um, if you can take parts of all of their games, you can have one hell of a player. Um, and, hope, and that's what us youngsters are doing. We've got, we got great people to learn from around the club. Um, it should stand us in good stead. I cast your mind back to last season, and we were probably in a similar chat here like we are now, but it was a case of you were breaking through. Do you feel you've made that next step again in your career? You're, you're very much you know, round the first team now? You're, you're making your yeah, mark? I'm around it. Um, I wouldn't say I'm in it completely. Um, I want to be there selected in big games. Um, I mean, I was fortunate enough to play in the Prem final last year after. How game. big a fillet was that for you? You yeah. must have got a huge boost from it. Yeah, no, it was massive. Uh, it was annoying the way, like the week leading up to it, the end contest against Sale, because I was really excited to play in that game. And um, then had barely trained that week before the final. Um, but I, I, you learn a lot from those sort of experiences and it just makes you want to go back there and win and just I, it was only in front of 10,000 people wasn't it uh, last time but I couldn't imagine what it's like in front of 80,000 just the atmosphere would be incredible I think the buzz you just get running out like you'd be, you'd be tingling 